I invite you to join me today where we look at a simple solution for helping cars that are lighted and have a tendency to flicker. Today on Austin's American Flyer. Uh, this New Haven shell was on here when I took it off. Um, this was this is a die or cast metal, and there was just kind of white something on it. So I used a Scotch Brite uh, to kind of clean that off a little bit. Um, and I had been doing some testing. This is a this is a car that uh, is going to be going to uh, a customer, and um, so I'm I'm trying to service it up, clean it up real nice for him before it leaves here. And uh, one of the things that I was experimenting with are LED bulbs, and um, it's a very white light as opposed to the incandescent, more yellow, but kind of a neat effect. Uh, and when it was on, it was cool, but it kept flickering. And the primary reason it was flickering is because uh, the circuit, if you will, relies on a wire going to one truck and then the frame being connected for the for the other uh, piece of the circuit. Uh, and that obviously is what we see in cabooses and searchlights and all kinds of different applications. Uh, it is what it is. Um, but if this piece is, is not clean, you're gonna have issues. If the combination of the truck and the rivet and the frame, I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities for it to not work well. The other thing is uh, this original wire uh, has got uh, still some of the uh, wrap on it, but uh, obviously that could be shorting out against the frame. I mean, there's just lots of potential. So my plan is to disconnect this wire, um, put some new wire on here through the hole to this um, light base. The other thing I want to do then is instead of relying on the frame and all these other uh, what ifs kind of connection points, I'm going to solder a wire here. There's a little hole right here that's already there and I will run that in and affix it to this part. So again, pretty simple in terms of uh, improving a, a lighted car and I'm not adding capacitors. I'm not adding any sort of um, saving device that you know kind of stores power um, to help even out the flickers. Um, so this is a real basic but uh, I'll be effective way of doing this. Now, the reason I know that this is going to be more effective is because uh, this is another car that's going to this customer that is on my bench to, to prepare. And um, this is a baggage car, and uh, I haven't seen a lot of these that are lit, but this one is. Um, and I noticed that it's got the kind of wiring that I'm describing. And uh, so uh, when this car was going around on the same track behind uh, this passenger car, uh, the light was constant. It didn't flicker at all. And so uh, I thought, well, if it works there, it's going to work, improve this lot. And that's without doing any cleaning to the, the car wheels, doing any anything to them other than putting them on the track and uh, running them. So uh, I think with a little bit of cleaning, and uh, some CRC and some of that, uh, we'll see some improvements. So that's the backstory, and now it's time to get rolling.
Okay, and this is with the LED bulb in there. Um, again, pretty low speeds, and uh, I know it's maybe not easy to tell on my little phone here, but uh, it's definitely a nice bright light. I'll get it coming around the curve here. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but um, there was very little flickering, and I've got, you know, the 90 degree crossover there, and um, there's a switch, um, and it's just, it, it, it doesn't act like it's even there, which I'm pretty amazed. <laughs> I don't have anything else that uh, doesn't flicker when it goes through that stuff.